so hello to everyone uh, now in this project I want to show you how to refresh and assemble your uh, washer fluid tank or reservoir on your Mercedes here you can see that this is the headlight washer pump and it got faulty on my car the main issue it has it is that it leaks here you can see the crack actually this part is a uh, water pump uh, and uh, it is made uh, by Hella in Germany it is still original part and now I am awaiting a replacement from Germany and after I have got it I will install it on my car but now I decided to refresh this reservoir so at first I cleaned it as best as I could here you can see that it looks better than it was previous and uh, this uh, DIY primarily is uh, for those W2 tanks which have two tanks uh, the smaller one you can see here is for headlight washers and the biggest one is for windshield washer here you can see the two places where the pumps are installed this is the place where the headlight washer pump is installed and the second hole is the place where the windshield washer pump is installed so guys now i am going to change every rubber part on this uh, washer fluid, fluid reservoir and uh, make it look better and newer as well uh, so uh, that's why I have bought all the rubber rings and now I will show you how to assemble this reservoir tank with new parts and accessories of it here you can see that all the rubber is almost uh, uh, <clears throat> like uh, plastic and also also uh, we must install uh, this warmer this is uh, the part which warms the water inside the tank and I also will show you how to install this part inside of this reservoir so guys mm, now uh, let's uh, start our job and uh, we will start to removing the rings from the main reservoir uh, the rings are um, the windshield washer pump ring and uh, headlight washer pump ring here are all the new parts I have got from a dealer here in my country they does not cost very much if I compare the prices online they cost much uh, bet, uh, more than here and I decided to uh, buy all of them I gave about about 15 US dollars um, for these four parts and I think this is very good deal so now let's start our job and see what will be our um, final result so guys now let's remove uh, the ring which seals uh, the windshield washer pump in its place and for this you will need uh, this screwdriver this type of screwdriver flathead and you only must pry it out you know this uh, old rubber parts which are almost uh, very very stiff uh, will come very easy so this is the first rubber part and uh, now I am continuing to remove a second rubber sealing which is for a headlight washer only avant-garde modules uh, have this function and some of elegance uh, let's use uh, the pry tool this is plastic and I am avoiding now to scratch any a surface of this reservoir washer tank and very gentle and very very slowly uh, I am moving forward and removing this 
um, rubber sealer uh, from its place. So guys, now I will use my second left hand and push this rubber part from inside. Here you can see it. And voila, this is freely. And you can see here how it is used. Uh, it's better to replace this with the new seal. Before to install new parts here, it is better to wipe and clean these holes. Uh, you can uh, use any degreaser. Uh, I like to use this Kunststoff Reiniger weird product. This is no promotional video. I show you everything I like to use when I work. And I recommend to everyone. So, guys, now I'm cleaning it, and after it will be enough clean, I will show you how to mount new rubber parts without any damaging and without any effort. So guys, here you can see that it is better look now, it has better look now. Let's agree that uh, when you work on old car, you cannot clean everything uh, to make it like new, but you can do your best to make it look better. And now I will use this silicone spray, also made by wood. I will apply it on this rubber parts and i will show that they will slide in their places without any effort and uh, very gently and very good and here we are the first part is installed Now let's move on and continue our job. Now I will I will install the second bigger sealer here. Also let's apply the silicone on it. It also will uh, help uh, the rubber to be elastic. and work good for you so now you must put it and it will clip so uh, in this way and the second rubber part is also installed in its place uh, if we compare the styling of uh, this and the original part was which was on my car they are different but i think that this is new mercedes designed part and it will uh, work without any any issues with the new pump i will uh, got very soon i will get very soon So guys, now I am moving forward and 
now I will remove these two rubbers uh, these are the rubbers which uh, seal uh, the part which warms the water inside the washer uh, and they are installed on the washer cap uh, for uh, removing them you will need some spray tools or pick tools uh, they are almost converted to the plastic here you can see how stiff they are and uh, it uh, needs some attention to remove them without damaging any plastic part and surface on the cap itself so that's why uh, this pick tool will work uh, best for me uh, I don't care if I will mm, uh, crack them during removing because they are mm, for replace now and not a big deal here you can see I removed the first one and how ugly it is <laughs> if we compare it to the new one this design is almost converted to the something strange but you know this guy is sitting here about 20 years and heat and all the <laughs> circumstances make it look so ugly and this guy don't want to be removed but who asks him let's remove it here we are and the cap is free now and it is ready to meet the new rubber seals but at first let's try to wipe it and clean as best as we should So guys, now I will install the new rubbers and uh, the procedure will be the same. I will lube them with some silicone and then push into the holes. New versus old. And so it is installed in its place very go good ceiling and simply it looks better it looks like new and it is very good result for me now guys let's try to put the second one as well in its place mm -hmm. and the cap is ready to be installed on the washer itself it looks very good and the result is worth every penny I gave for these rubbers so guys the rubber parts are installed 
I also installed this warmer on its place. Here you can see that it is secured with uh, one clip down uh, on the washer reservoir and you must put it to there and then uh, you must attach this cap of the washer fluid reservoir to these tubes these are aluminum tubes for with the silicone applied on the rubber they will slide inside very very easily and the final result will be very good here you can see how this new rubber seal these tubes and they look perfect Now let's uh, install this cap uh, It is very easy to install it, you must push But be careful to install it in the right way You will understand how to do it It has some markings And So guys, now installed, I installed this cap with new rubbers uh, This warmer is also secured uh, and the final uh, step to uh, finish our job is to install uh, this uh, sensor uh, which shows the level of the fluid on your dashboard it is also very easy to install it uh, it has this rubber sealant which uh, must be on the a top of this uh, sensor itself uh, also lube it with uh, silicone and push it uh, to this hole this is the right way here you can see it has the marking and attach uh, this sensor with the right uh, right way uh, on the uh, bottom of this food reservoir so my first attempt <laughs> was uh, not successful uh, because I pushed uh, that rubber inside the tank uh, and uh, I will now try the twice. Hope that the result will be good and uh, this is the rail. Here you can see I installed it. It is secured on its place. And now everything is assembled and uh, ready to be installed on the car. Uh, the last step uh, now I will do it to attach the caps on both of reservoirs so guys uh, here are the caps itself uh, let's uh, wipe them uh, clean and then install on their places these are brand new caps I showed you about two years ago how I installed them so it is very easy job and now I'm repeating it as well Let's put on on the little washer tank cap at first. Here it is. And now let's move on to the bigger 
tank cap and also install it on its place Here it is, and the uh, tank is uh, now ready to be installed on the car, guys. Uh, on the next video, I will show you how to mount this on the car and how to install the uh, both pumps on their places, and then we will test and see how it will work. So, hope uh, this uh, video will be useful for every of you uh, thank you very much for watching if you like my channel and videos please subscribe stay tuned and thank you very much once again for <coughs> watching my channel